Hey, what's up guys? It's Barbell Outdoors and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my 2022 new Canoe Unlimited all set up for tournament builds. I'm going to be going over uh, everything I've done to it, modifications, um, you know, how I have it set up for me and you know I really like it and I want to give you guys some ideas because when I was building this you know there aren't a ton of videos on this new canoe unlimited how people have it set up how they fish it so I just want to show you guys I'm no expert by any means I'm no you know master kayak craftsman but I do want to show you guys how I have mine set up for me uh, at the moment so let's get right into it so here she is in all her glory it's my new canoe new canoe unlimited this is the Tundra color. It's 12 feet, 6 inches, I believe. So I guess let's go bow to stern. We'll start off even a little bit better than that. Let's start off with the trailer. This is a Hustler jet ski trailer. It's modified with conduit, BBC conduit, to uh, hold it. And as you guys can see, it holds that really well right there. You know, right on the stern. It fits perfectly in between those two. It's a lot easier top this thing if I wanted to it is that much heavier than my old Jackson so a trailer is a necessity plus makes launching super duper easy so let's start up at the bow now so up at the bow got my motor guide XI3 pinpoint GPS so it's a nice nice thing uh, really makes a huge difference for tournament fishing with that spot lock that is the number one thing I like to fish offshore so having that spot lock is a huge huge deal for me um, I have it on the new canoe unlimited motor plate here and the XI3 quick release bracket. Go over to the other side, you can see that that's how it works. This pin holds the motor to the bracket, and then uh, yeah, that's how that works. It slides right on there, pin holds it on, it is on there incredibly steady. I don't ever have to worry about that falling off. So then Go with the wiring, 8 gauge wires, don't laugh at my electrical tape job. I have the new canoe through hole wiring kit, I have one of the ports right there, and then you have your wiring plate that is on all the new canoes, or at least on all the unlimiteds, and then how I deploy it is I have this uh, trolling motor deploy system from Never Lost Gear. What I did was I put this little, little bracket, you see here put that right on that wiring plate and then I connected it, drilled a hole and tied a little knot into the foot pedal. So when I pull this, I can be sitting in my seat, pull this, I'm not going to actually deploy it right now, but that's how it works, all right? So I pull it back, it'll deploy, here's the leash, and then I can control how it goes down, which way it turns and stuff like that. So it's very easy. They go all the way over there when I'm sitting in my seat. I can deploy it from my seated position. So, from there, uh, what else we got? Have the Yak Attack. This is, I don't think this is the Panfish Pro, it's a camera mount. But that's where I put my camera. It's got a perfect view of me while I'm fishing, so it gets a really good third person perspective. Uh, then, let's go with my new canoe gear pod here this thing is a huge benefit and let me tell you why so like i said i'm no expert when it comes to building kayaks i had never done any sort of wiring or anything like that so to have this gear pod to where you know i can drill holes in this gear pod i can run as many wires through it it's basically like a, like a little playground for me to get used to you know running a through hole wiring kit or installing a yak power system or another through hole wiring kit so I don't I can drill holes and work on the wiring system without actually having to drill a bunch of holes in my kayak in my kayak uh, here I have the yak power nav lights on the side I'll turn those on for you so you guys can see really simple just the B button for the bow on my switching system turns them on and off it's a huge huge benefit to me very easy and then this might be a little bit difficult. I think I'm gonna have to deploy the trolling motor to show you guys what's actually inside. So in here, I've already taken this out. This is a bag that I have of just, you know, uh, essentials, emergency stuff. If I ever have to do emergency repairs out on the water, God forbid, but uh, electrical tool, crimping stuff, uh, heat shrink, electrical tape, hand sanitizer, pliers, a screwdriver, um, zip ties, and then I keep my fish grips in there. Got a bottle of water just in case I need it. 
dude wipes, you know, get that fish smell or whatever off your hands. Got my trailer lock here, I keep it in there. This is the Yak Power switching system I was talking about. And as you can see, I'm no, you know, master, master electrician, but I took this electrical foam and I ran the, the wires through the foam just to keep them out of the way. I don't have any accessories for these three yet, I'm waiting for that, uh, you know, I'm sure sure I'll be able to get that eventually uh, another fish finder or whatever I need to more LEDs or something but I have three options for more plug and plug uh, and then yeah this electrical foam stuff's run under it and then the whole system as it stands is powered by two of these Nakwa batteries when one runs out I just switch it I already had these Nakwas they're 10 amp hour they're awesome awesome batteries they last a ton and you know I just have that Nakwa connection to the switching system but you know, I had these, it's 20 amp hours of battery total, and it is somewhat inconvenient, but I'm not getting rid of those. I'm just, you know, if one runs out, I'll just switch it to the other. That, that'll last a whole day. 20 amp hours, unless I start running, you know, pan optics or something, I'm, I'm really not worried about it. So, let's close that and get to the rest of it. Uh, the seat, it's the Fusion 360 seat, comes standard on all new canoes, or at least the new canoe unlimiteds. Then I have a thermo rest on there just makes things a little bit easier when you're sitting for long periods of time and moving on to the back got my black pack pro with you shut up with eight rod holders i carry eight rods with me when i go out on a tournament day it may seem excessive to some people but frankly it seems like it's not enough sometimes so then i have these i'll link these in the description these are actually mesh uh, netting they go, they're supposed to go on the back of cars, but they fit really well on the black pack. I saw that on Facebook, and I thought that was really cool. So I got two of them. Two of them come in a pack. Like I said, I'll I'll post that and put it in the comment section so you guys can see, you know, where to buy it if you want to. And then black pack opens up. Got another one of those mesh netting things on the top there. Uh, keep you know bellows gills plastic shell stuff the the stuff that wouldn't really fit in here more plastics in this ziploc and then got my plano edge boxes in there full of everything i need for tournaments uh, right now i have like depths cover scats uh nico cross and uh bellows gills in there so works well those are a new addition but they they do work really well uh, got all my line that I keep in there, keep all my line organized. And then moving on to the back, I'm not going to take this cover off. This is a Minn Kota battery station, which, you know, it works well. I haven't had any issues with it. I've been using it so far this year. I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. But inside of this, I have a 100 amp hour, 12 volt Dakota lithium battery. And then run the wires off of the power center into the other end of the through hole wiring kit. So. You know, I ran the eight gauge wire from here to the bow for the trolling motor, so there's no exposed wires. It was kind of uh, frightening, being honest with you, to drill those like one inch holes into my kayak and then run the wires through. Uh, I had never done that before, and it was certainly kind of nerve wracking, but I'm glad I did because this is a really, really nice system. It works very well for me. Moving on, uh, the Yak Attack Visipole. Uh, with a little light and the flag attaches right on these back gear tracks here works really well for me and then moving on to the stern that's coming loose tighten that down this is another yak gadget product here this is the yak gadget it's actually made for the unlimited it's called like an accessory bracket so the cool thing about power poles and um what the the bixby's and your you know, uh, torpedoes is they all run off the same four screw hole system. So mount the power pole mounting bracket right on there on the Yag gadget, and then have my power pole micro anchor, which 10 foot spike, really good for rivers. And you know, if I'm ever in shallow water, it works really well. Uh, you have some access here, but this is really the only place you can actually access inside the hull of the kayak. So, you know, I don't use it much, but it is there. You can access the inside, but if you're gonna get an unlimited, that is the only place you can have any sort of, you know, view inside the kayak. And then here, so there's no 
there are rod holders obviously as you saw in the back but I can't reach those from my seat so what I came up with as a solution is to have this yak attack rod holder and then I have my it's just a bass pro net this is I mean it's a cheap net but it works really well and then I just have the base of it sitting in the cup holder that's actually molded into the kayak so it holds it right there really well I don't ever have to worry about it you know uh, flying off and it's right there when I need it so it is very beneficial to me uh, and then that power pole I control it that it has a remote control but what I do is I just have this power pole remote that is made to mount onto the boat you can see it's got the screw holes but what I did is just take this 3m super strong velcro and I just velcroed it in so I can hold it there and that is very steady it's not going anywhere uh, that's about it I don't really have anything else that I've really done to the kayak personally everything else is just sort of standard but I hope that I've at least shown you guys some ideas as to how you want to set yours up like I said this is a really good setup for me uh, it may not be perfect for everybody but for what I do and how I like to fish this is perfect for me so if you guys have any questions comment them below I'll answer them as best I can but hope you guys enjoyed this video